and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make callout titles, like this. So I have this video of a squirrel, and I'm just going to caption him, I guess, it. So I'm going to make two title clips, one for the rectangles and one for the text. So we're going to need two rectangles that are going to actually be bars and a small circle as well. Can you see the circles now? That's so exciting. So I'm going to make the circle 50 by 50, I guess. I guess it's in an okay place. You can put it wherever you want, of course. And this we're going to rotate here. Try to place it someplace nice. And the last one. Okay, that looks okay. There's a little problem here. I'm going to try to solve it. Fifteen, fifteen. Okay, everything is good. So then I can drag it onto my timeline and make another uh, title clip. And it's gonna say squirrel. I'm gonna change the size a bit and space out the letters. Why not? Okay, great. And create this title clip. And you can see we have a problem with tracks, so I'm just gonna insert a new one so I can put my text on it. So here we're gonna make the bar appear when the, spi the not the spider, the squirrel is on top, so around here it will appear. And my idea is to first have the circle show up and then the rest, so we will use rotoscoping for this. So I'm just gonna make a rectangle around my circle. And I will zoom in to make sure it's well uh, selected. So that looks okay. I will move the alpha operation to minimum. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, so that's okay. Then I will go a few frames later and not change anything, just add a keyframe. Then a few more frames later and grow this out to the end of the first bar. And I'm also gonna add a dot here because we'll need it for the ne next. And now I'm gonna add another keyframe. Move this to the end of this bar, which is apparently very long. And this will go to the corner of the bar here. And we can feather it like a tiny bit, like five maybe. So I selected the circle alone at the end, uh, at the beginning, I mean, because I want it to grow. And I'm gonna use transform for this. So transform here, and I see that the feathering is too much as well. So I'm just gonna ch change it to like three. Yeah, that's better. So the transform effect, sorry. Um, I'm gonna go to my first keyframe, but like it doesn't really matter that much. And add a keyframe here, cause that's the end point. And go back to the first keyframe and make it way smaller. What I'm also doing at the same time is I put my finger on the screen and move it wherever I want it to. Okay, and now when I zoom in, it's in the right place and then it will grow. We have a small problem around here, so I'm just gonna solve this really quick by putting this a bit more this way and it should help, yep. Perfect. Lastly, we'll have the text show up, so I want it to come like around here maybe. I think this whole thing is too slow, so I'm gonna bring all of the keyframes closer to the beginning. And then I can move my squirrel text somewhere around here, I think. That would be good. And it's gonna show up by coming from under. First, add a transform effect. As just we did just before, add a keyframe for the endpoint and come back to the first one and move it down. Only down this time, so I can just center it to make sure it didn't move. But you can obviously see it underneath here, which uh, we don't want. So I'm gonna add a rotoscoping effect again, because I like it. You could do it with alpha shapes as well. Uh, it's just easier to use rotoscoping. So I'm gonna go back to the first frame and add a rectangle 
somewhere like here. What you want is to hide this word. So for now, it's gonna be like this, but then you can change the alpha operation to subtract. And now we can't see it. And I'm gonna change the feather width to like three maybe. And now you'll see when it goes up, it shows up. See what that looks like. So one thing I find is that it's too linear uh, when the text shows up. I would want it to be a bit more bouncy and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna add another keyframe here and I'm gonna make it higher in this direction and add another keyframe here that's just the same one as the previous one and I hope that's better. That's way better. You can see that the text looks more natural. Well, I don't know if you can call text natural, but you see what I mean. So I was actually working on editing the video and I wanted to end this better. So I'm going to show you what I did to do this. I made a title clip, like a rectangle with some transparency on, on the left. Thanks to a gradient, I made this. And then I made it move with a composite and transform and destination out as compositing. And when it moves in, it will hide the whole thing because I added a composite between the two layers. So I hope you liked it. As usual, please like, subscribe. More coming soon. Bye bye.